Hey, Linux friends, who does not know the joy of working in the terminal, super focused, getting the stuff done at home or on the job, and then you accidentally delete a directory that you were not supposed to delete or a config file. And it happened to me the other day, I deleted something that I shouldn't have. And as soon as I hit enter, I was like, no. So I thought, well, might as well make a video, try to find a solution that um, helps us all. And so job security 101, if you're a Linux administrator, it would be the trash CLI or so I'm told. So let's look at that. Install this together. Uh, trash put. So these are the commands that it provides. Mm, installation. Installation. Here it is. Oh, the easy way. It sounds good. Pip. Okay, we can pip. Pip it real good. Uh, oh, bleeding edge. Who does not want their trash can to be bleeding edge? Um, that's a band name, if I've ever heard one. The bleeding edge trash can. So, uh, apt pacman DNF. So, okay, so it has some nice repository support. So, sudo pacman and trash CLI. Yes, we want that. So let's do, oh no, we're gonna discover together the options that we talked about there in the beginning. In the beginning, there was trash put, trash empty, list, restore, remove. Okay, trash put, let's start with that. So let's do touch me now, mm -mm -mm. trash put me now. What was it, trash list, list. Okay, there it is. Now let's do a Mikadir and let's just do friends. And let's do, what was it? trash put? Trash put friends. And now we can do list again. Okay, that's kind of cool that we don't have to do like with RM, like recursive and force. It just removes the whole directory. What if we have a directory, Mikadir, just the one. Uh, CD1 and touch this. Now it has a file in it. I wonder if I wonder if it will prompt us that it's not empty or something. Trash put one. No, that's nice. I like that. That's a nice feature. No, um, no. Okay, I'm not gonna say. Uh, no beating around the bush here. So okay, that works. Let's look at something else. Trash list, we've done that. So we can grab the trash as soon as it has a bunch of stuff. That's nice. Restore a trashed file. Let's do that. Let's restore. Okay. Okay, so it's like an RA array. One, two, three, four. Uh override. Okay, okay, okay. Multiple files. Let's go do trash list. And let's say trash. What was it? Restore? Yep. Uh, let's say we pick nothing. Oh, okay, cool. Then it shows everything. I like that feature. Uh, let's do, it would, what was it? Hyphen? Yeah, okay, hyphen, so hyphen zero, hyphen one. Um, okay, trash list. Oh, sorry guys, trash list. Oh, nice. And so let's say we want to just get totally get rid of the directory one trash. That would be empty. So it would empty everything. Let's not do that. Let's do RM one. Okay. So it doesn't prompt us if we do a single thing. Okay. Okay. That's nice. That's neat. Uh, trash empty. What else can we do? Can I uh, alias RM? Okay, can I alias RM to trash put? You can, but you shouldn't. Okay, <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, probably because of some conflicting options or something. Or it's a good idea, but now I've changed my mind. Although the interface of trash put seems to be compatible with RM, it has different semantics, which will cause you problems. Yeah, I could imagine that. Oh, yeah. It's like the hyphen R, like the options I was talking about, or arguments. 
I'm Icelandic people. Sorry, I don't know the lingo. Um, deleting directories, but trash. Okay, okay. Uh, sometimes I forget to use trash, but really I can't. Oh, okay. Let's use this. That is cool. Uh, let's do C H R C. Let's let's just put it there. So that that's an alias uh, for RM, and it will echo this. This is not the command you're looking for. And false is going to return a one. Uh, so it doesn't uh, get an error, I would imagine. So let's do, let's source. Okay, uh, let's do RM. This is not the command you're looking for. Yep, yeah, that's good. That is good. That's kind of like um, helps us remember to not do stuff like that. Uh, so neat. So all I have to kind of remember and tell myself is to use the trash CLI. Nice. I like that. Um, and so if we really wanted to use remove, you would have to escape. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, so this bypasses the alias. Neat. So let's just do. Oh, we still have uh, me now. <laughs> nice. Let's do RM, me now. And it's gone. And definitely not in the trash list. Yeah, sweet. So I don't think there's. So you can do a cron tab. So it. Uh, removes it every 30 days, 90 days, whatever. Uh, let's just go, if there's something else here that would be neat for us to know. If there's like a, a function for, well, that's what I was looking for, days. That's nice. So uh, I can just delete everything that's older than 30 days or 90 days. I like that, that's a nice feature. So definitely I'm going to install this on my machines and uh, let me know if you do uh, comments, interactions, licking, subscribing, likes, all of that jazz is appreciated guys. Um, if you're new, welcome to the community, the Linux Ninja, I appreciate you all. Um, this is something that I uh, thought about last night because I have a home media server and I did actually did an RM RF on a directory that I was not supposed to delete. And as soon as I hit enter, I was like, shebang. That was not smooth, but I had a backup. And even I, I have a backup of my backups. So, but it was just like, you do not have to be that, like, uh, I don't know. Just because as soon as I hit enter, I was like, I shouldn't have done that. Why doesn't the mind kick in like a second earlier? Right? It's always in the past. Yes, I don't know. Any no, any no, any no. Let's make myself big. I want to be big. So this is this was a one shot wonder. I hope it came out okay. And uh, tomorrow I am going to do a reaction to a YouTube uh, Linux a video. So I'm gonna start doing those. I I think that's gonna be fun. I don't know. I like to. I like to yappa. So hope you're all doing well and uh, see you tomorrow. Bye.